In Search of a Champion, Volume 1 by Langley Longseer. Dreams. Ever since I was a child, I've had the gift of foresight. At the age of six, I awoke from a dream in which I saw our cattle being slaughtered by a group of monstrous beasts, all slashing claws and ripping teeth. I could smell the thick metallic stench of blood as I awoke screaming. My father led me outside to prove that our livestock was safe. They were. They were all there at the bottom of the field, alive and well. We went back indoors. I was fussed over, reassured, and then tucked back into bed. Early one morning, about a week later, my father found our whole herd slaughtered. They'd been killed by a pack of giant wolves. The entire field was red with cow's blood. I soon learned to listen to my dreams, and for many years my gift has served me well. Specifics are often frustratingly hazy, but if I have a vision, it almost always comes to pass, unless I somehow intervene. I've had countless visions over the years, but there is one that has outlasted all the rest. Since I was a young man, my sleep has been plagued by a persistent nightmarish apparition. I have named this being the Doomstrider, because in my dreams it brings anguish, grief and pain wherever it walks. I have decided to dedicate my life to finding the one person my dreams tell me can vanquish this great evil. The Doomstrider. In my dreams, a hateful shadowy figure strides through our lands, casting all asunder. I see Tamriel transformed to a tortured ruin. I see thousands of innocent lives destroyed. I hear screams of agony, the weeping of children, and the hopeless prayer to gods that can no longer intervene. This is not a mere nightmare, it is a vision. How long do we have before this thing, this agent of annihilation, appears? I know not. All I know is that there is one who can help. There is still hope. The Champion In my dreams I see a champion unlike any other. A Khajiit that should not be. He escaped death in his first year and has been successfully eluding it ever since. He is bold and fierce, but also kind and loyal. Like all Khajiit, his appearance was decided by the moons at his birth, but he is the product of an extremely rare celestial alignment. The heavens have gifted him bluish fur, great strength, sharp eyes, and according to my visions, the power to destroy the Doomstrider. I must find the champion before it is too late. Progress. The dreams are more frequent than ever, but I think I'm making progress. I procured a traveller's journal that may describe our champion's place of birth. In the Khajiit homeland there is a tiny village, completely cut off from the modern world. The birth of a blue Khajiit is significant in their folklore. Every 200 years or so a child is born who turns blue a few weeks after birth. The appearance of a blue baby is seen as a bad moon omen, and these bloodthirsty zealots sacrifice the infant as soon as they get their first blue hair. I can only assume that the champion in my vision somehow escaped his fate. Maybe he was smuggled away by a family member. I'll travel to elsewhere and visit every settlement in the vicinity of the village. Maybe I'll get lucky. Our hero has a name. Inigo. His name is Inigo. After many months of travel, my search has led me to a town of Riverhold. Apparently there was a blue Khajiit here, but he left to seek his fortune years ago. He and his brother were abandoned at the orphanage and later adopted by a local couple. This all happened a long time ago. Inigo and his brother are likely grown men by now. Alas, his parents recently left town with a trading caravan. I must speak with them. I'll follow their trail and see if they know where their son is. From what I've heard, his foster parents are strange but pleasant people. I'm sure they'll help me if they can. can. Inigo's brother is called Fergus and Inigo's mother is called Leia. Oddly, his father is Argonian. His name is Da Vinci. A tragedy. I found the trading caravan this morning among a litter of corpses. It has been ransacked. Everyone is dead. Damned bandits. The filthy thieves paid a price, though. At least 16 of their number were killed in the attack. I wept when I found Leia and Da Vinci. They died holding hands, heads resting brow to brow. Poor Inigo and Fergus don't yet know the tragedy that has befallen them. At least they have each other. I found Da Vinci's journal by the side of the road. Its pages hold so much love for his wife and sons. I will find a quiet spot, dig a grave, and lay the valiant couple to rest away from the crows and rats. 
May they find peace and joy in the afterlife, and may they hold hands for eternity. Inigo is the one. I am certain Inigo is the champion I have dreamed of. I returned to Riverhold and passed on the news about Leia and Da Vinci. The townsfolk were both saddened and shocked. They had no idea where Fergus and Inigo are, but word has been sent through what conduits exist in the hope they will be found. Since returning here and telling the tale of how I discovered and buried their parents, the locals have been more forthcoming with tales of Inigo's past. It seems he and his brother became heroes here in their teens. The town was overrun by a swarm of migrating giant spiders, and three people died. When everyone else cowered in their homes, the boys and their parents ended the rather nasty insect infestation with ease. Da Vinci's journal backs this up. People say that it was Indigo that led the charge and that he killed 15 of the beasts by himself, laughing all the while. I can't wait to meet him. All I know is that he and Fergus were headed to Cyrodiil. Maybe I'll strike out in that direction and try my luck.